Hi everyone, today we have a Samsung Tab Active 3 which has come in for a broken screen. I haven't worked on one of these before, so uh, let's see uh, what we can do. Now the back uh, on these devices come, comes off and so does the battery, so I'll remove the battery. And I've got a heat mat here, which I'm gonna use to uh, heat the glass. And then we will remove, soften the, soften the bonding that's around the screen and we'll remove the glass carefully and see uh, what's behind there. Um, there. There should be a flex cable on one of the sides. So we'll carefully go around and remove the glass. And then I'll show you how to replace the digitizer and the glass. They're actually bonded together. So there has one, one unit. So I've got a heat pad here. Uh, it's at optimum temperature, which is 80 degrees, which is what I like to, like to use it on 80. And I'll leave this on there for a, a few moments now. And then we'll continue removing the glass. So that should be uh, hot enough now to get the, uh, the glass off. I'm just gonna slowly prise out the glass. So it's off. I'm gonna put some alcohol down just to give a bit of a helping hand to soften the glue. And as you can see, that kind of goes through quite nicely. Like so, a bit more isopropanol. Just there. I'm trying to lift away from what's on the other. I don't want to damage anything else that's behind behind the glass. That's coming off quite easily, actually. Uh, it is a bit hard, but the alcohol does a wonderful job of softening up, or at least breaking down the bonding. And when it's dried, you can the actual bonding goes kind of you can use it again. It's pretty good. So let's see what we've got behind here. Okay, so you can see there's a flex cable just there. I don't want to pull too hard. Okay, right. So what I can see now is there's a couple of flexes there. Uh, one goes to the board. One goes to the screen. Now, there you are. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward actually. I thought it would be a lot tougher, but be very careful. I don't want to damage anything. Um, there is a bit of a quite a bit of glass on it that's actually shattered, so I want to be careful when taking that off. There is something, a flex behind here, and I want to make sure that I'm not going to break something or tear the flex at all. Um, one thing I do know, it'll be a nightmare to get hold of a flex for one of these, because it's not that, not a very popular tablet. So I'm just going to see if I can, right, okay, so that's, as you can see, that's come away Quite nicely so if you did tear these flexes then there would be a bit of trouble there's a little cover here that pops off and I assume there'll be one on this one to pop up as well so it isn't that bad actually um, so I'm just gonna pop that one off there as well and one for the home button flex now I'm not sure if the new screen that I've ordered it hasn't arrived as yet it should be here today too um, the new screen has got what it's going to come with. I think it only comes with this flex. These are all part of the device. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Uh, when the new one arrives, we'll continue the video. So, yeah, at least we uh, know how to uh, remove the, uh, the LCD and the digitizer, and you know what's behind it and what to look out for, because you could quite easily gone through one of these and you might have run a bit too far and whack and you've got one of this so uh, yes let's wait for the arrival of the new the new part so the new screen has arrived uh, now what I've done just to save a little bit of time and not make the video way too long than it should be I've removed uh, the the buttons the home button the the flexes for the LCD uh, and um, 
the way to remove them is I heated them up. I used a bit of isopropyl alcohol and I got a blade and I carefully went underneath and prized them out. So there's a little bit of a gap you can get into. And then I've used my T8000 bonding glue and I've put it around all the, the holes for, for the, for the um, buttons. Let the glue uh, sit for a while, a few minutes, so it just gets a little bit tacky and then uh, made up the, the buttons. And I did the same with, I put a bit of bonding underneath this circuit here for the, for the LCD. And I put a bit of double-sided tape for the LCD flex on this side. So it's pretty straightforward. And just be careful um, when you remove the home button, because the last thing you want to do is you want to break it. And all, the, all, that's, all that's behind this is, is the actual button. So you've got the nipple behind here and then the flex. That will connect to the, to the main board. And this is the the uh, little holding plate. So when you press the button, you can hear the noise. And if you can hear that, I'm sure you can. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bond the the LCD down. Uh, but before I do that, I'm actually going to test the screen and make sure the screen's okay. So let's just go ahead and apply the tape. We could do the bonding down a little bit later so just going to get this tether tape and put it down it's pretty strong stuff this we'll use it in uh, quite a few either for ipads and all sorts so we can just put that there just get it in the uh, right in the in the edges there do the other side as well in the same way So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the excess off. Uh, just be careful. I don't want to take and dig into the plastic too much. And just pull that away. Move that aside. The same thing with this side as well. Let's get into the into the corner. There you go. We'll do the same on the other two corners. Just that it just saves you afterwards because you can do it. You can leave the excess on and, and then do it afterwards when the glass has been fitted. But this way you get a bit of a cleaner, a cleaner finish, and you then you don't need to uh, cut away. You could, you could actually damage the plastics, so we don't want that, do we? So let's do this as well. This, is, this tape is a bit thicker, so I've used a thicker one for the for the top and the bottom. And there you go. That's pretty much bang on now. It's a quite a rare tablet, so I've not seen, I've not seen, this is actually the first one I've had in. And um, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward uh, to, to work on, not too bad, you know. And uh, this is at the other corner, let's get this one as well. Yeah, so that's all the corners done. I'll just put a bit in that corner just to satisfy myself. Just give it a little bit, just to uh, give it a bit more strength, just there. Straight forward, it might be all four corners. There is spaces where we can use to apply more tape, so uh, we want to take advantage of space and do a proper job. We can actually put a bit more around the camera. We can actually go all the way across here actually. 
go up to the speaker just there A bit too much there. Okay, and let's go up to the up to the camera. There you go. So we just got that extra bit of strength. Okay, I'm quite happy with that for now. So before we um, bond it right, uh, you know, stick it down, we will just test the screen. I'm going to put in the bottom flex first. If I can get hold of it. Okay, and then I'm going to put in the, the main uh, flex for the LCD. Okay, get here the nice click. Just temporarily put it on there. Put the battery in. Switch it on with the power button. There you go, and we have a display. Let's check the buttons. It's working fine, perfect. That is very good. Just make sure it all works. Just test, give it a quick, uh, quick test. Seems to be fine. No issues with that at all. You can go through the numbers if you want to. Uh, I do this to make sure that there's no digits that are. It's a genuine screen, so we shouldn't have any issues. But just in case, just to satisfy yourself that the job is done and you've tested everything possible. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Home button works fine. Back button works fine. All, right. All buttons working fine, no issues. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put on the caps for the digitizers, like this one or the other one, and uh, stick it down. That's it. Job done. Thank you for watching.